This video will explain how to create quantity receipts for complete orders. A quantity receipt indicates that goods have been received, returned, or canceled. When all the items from one purchase order are received together, you will create one quantity receipt for that PO. Occasionally, you may have more than one quantity receipt for a single purchase order. For example, when some of the items from the PO are back ordered or arrive later. To create a quantity receipt for a complete order, first search for a purchase order by clicking on Document Search. Enter the purchase order number in the search box. Click Go. Click on the PO number to open the purchase order. And under Available Actions, click Select Create Quantity Receipt, then click Go. The receipt will automatically populate with the PO's information, including the remaining number of items to be received. The default action is Received, and that indicates the item was received. Other available options are returned or cancelled. You can enter any additional information required by the organization, such as packing slip number, and any carrier tracking information, attachments, or notes. Then update the merchandise received date to be a date the goods were received. This date can be in the past. To view any line level details, click Show Receipt Details and then make any necessary adjustments. Finally, click Save Updates to save the changes. You should do this first to be sure there aren't any errors in your receipt. When there aren't any other errors, click Complete and then your receipt will be saved. Note that once a receipt has been submitted and completed, most users cannot make changes to the original receipt. The receipt number displays on the screen. Note that when a receipt is created, two dates are saved. The receipt date, which indicates the date the goods were actually received, and the receipt complete date, which indicates when the receipt was entered in the system.